Hi, I'm Steve Smith. I'm the head chef at Bohemia in uh, St. Helier, Jersey, and we're going to be doing a Jersey Royal ice cream with a Jersey Royal velouté and uh, some royals for you today. What I'm going to do first is really thinly slice the royals. Uh, we're then going to transfer them into a pan and uh, roast them with uh, foaming butter for a couple of minutes. And this will make uh, the basis to the ice cream. We're going to get the, uh, the cream base ready. So I've got some uh, milk and some uh, semi-skimmed milk. I'm going to add some salt and I'm going to add our stabiliser Pro Crema. I'm just going to place this on the stove and then I'm just going to bring that up to the boil and pull it off. Final piece of butter in there and as you can see they're nice and golden brown. Uh, maybe 30 seconds more and then these are going to be ready to come out and drain the butter off. We'll turn that butter into a brown butter dressing. Okay, the pan that we brought up to the boil, just going to put the hand blender through, just make sure everything's dissolved, all the powders are uh, ready to go. To that pan, I'm now going to add our drained potatoes. So I'm just going to drop those back in. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there 15 minutes. Okay, this has now had 15 minutes, so I'm just going to take the cling film off. Uh, the potatoes will have uh, softened uh, really nicely. A little bit of creme fraiche uh, now into there. You can probably see already that the colour of the milk has started to change colour and take on uh, the colour of the potatoes. We're now going to bring this back up to the boil and as soon as it's come back up I'm going to place that into the uh, blender and just give it a quick whiz until it's smooth. So I'm just going to place this all in, place the lid on and get it going. We're just going to leave this running for a couple of minutes just until it's nice and smooth. I'm going to just add it directly into the Paco Jet beaker uh, and let it freeze. As you can see, we've now got a really nice, smooth, even uh, ice cream. We're now going to prepare the garnish uh, for the ice cream and the soup. So I'm just going to add six potatoes. Uh, and then I'm going to add seaweed butter. Jersey Royal Veloute. And this is just made in a traditional potato soup recipe. And finally, just a little bit of brown butter vinaigrette. So I'm now going to cook the morels. So I'm just going to drop a knob of butter into a warm pan. I'm just going to add a few chopped shallots. I'm going to take it off the heat. I just want to try and control the heat. All I really want to do is uh, soften the morels in the butter. I'm going to add a pinch of salt and a little twist of pepper and a couple of thyme sprigs. Just a little bit of mushroom stock. And then with the butter that's already in the pan, we're just going to reduce that down so that we turn that back into uh, an emulsion and emulsify it. So final part of the garnish is uh, just some diced Jersey Royals, a little bit of emulsion, a little bit of seaweed butter. Uh, just going to warm them through and then that's pretty much it and we're ready to plate up. So I've got uh, my diced uh, Jersey Royals, roasted Royals, one at the front, one at the back. Poached quail egg that's just rolled in morel powder. I'll scatter the morels over the potato. The sherry vinegar jellies. My ice cream. My soup, which is going to go into our serving dish. Final little piece of uh, potato crisp. Uh, we'll now take that to the table and we're just going to pour in the soup. What we're finished with is uh, Jersey Royal ice cream and velouté with uh, a quail egg and morels. <laughs>